I'm Todd Jordan. Oops. David? <laughs> I'm David Baker. Hello. And um, we had really cool animations here. Is it starting? All right, cool. Sorry. Uh, and we're talking to you about um, <laughs> our API uh, rewrite in Ember today. And so David and I um, are part of the Learn team, and the Learn team touches a lot of things. It touches documentation, but it also touches the website, the API guides, and a lot of the infrastructure that you see in Ember. So um, we're just kind of facilitators and coordinators on that team, and we rely a ton on you guys. In the last few years, one of the things we all run into is unless our apps are on the most current version of Ember, you're not positive this API you're looking at when you look at the API viewer is really something you can rely on. Um, and so one of the things we've heard regularly is that people would love to be able to switch to the current version of Ember that they're working on. Um, we've had issues around whether things that are private and or deprecated would even show up. By default, we won't be showing those. And we also run into snags with the fact that everything is in Ruby, and it's a bit hard to contribute to. So we're hoping to use this new rewrite as a chance to kind of dog food Ember in a variety of ways, and have it be something that you can look at as a reference app for various things. So with that. So uh, David and I weren't the only contributors here. In fact, we didn't even contribute most of it. We relied on some really great um, guys along the way. And so uh, a couple people I want to really call out would be uh, Stanley, who initiated this whole project and gave a ton of work for it early on. Um, Guarv, um, who helped out uh, when the thing was sputtering kind of mid last year and just really carried it forward for us. Um, Siva Kumar, who uh, I don't think has slept in the last four weeks. And then um, Terrence, who has been huge in getting our site deployed and, and set up on Heroku. And then a ton of other guys along the way at different times um, that really carried us forward. Um, and every contribution was, was really critical in getting us out. So we thought we'd run over the infrastructure we've got, kind of where we started and where we ended up. Um, it's kind of gone through various iterations. Um, it feels a bit MacGyver-ish at times. Um, in essence, we're building a traditional Ember app. It has a client, it has a server, and we're dealing with fast boots, so it also has an API. So this is where we started um, when Stanley first worked on things. We ended up building the API docs into JSON files so that we could retrieve them from S3 and not pay a lot of costs there. Then we realized we needed to run this fast boot app as part of the Ember website. We'd initially thought we'd run it as a subdomain, but in the long run, we're hoping to have the whole Ember website via fast boot set up with various engines. And so the goal is for slash API to be kind of where we start and we'll continue to shift over time. So we're dealing with proxies and a couple Heroku dinos and Terrence has been instrumental in thinking about that. Then we add in CDN stuff here. We've needed to add SSL. Heroku again helping there. And we're adding service workers that's not quite finished. If you love service workers and want to help out, we'd be happy to talk to you. All right, so yeah, the work keeps on coming. Um, even though it's out there right now, you'll see even more function coming in the next few weeks. Um, this includes uh, PWA support. Uh, Support for the JavaScript module API, so instead of classes and namespaces on the side, you'll be able to expand and, and browse things by uh, package. And then finally, we'll get back and, and give you uh, the Algolia search that, that you're working on, that you're working with right now. So we'd love to have any help. Um, if you're interested, please try this out. We will be switching over at some point. If you don't find the bugs before then, you'll deal with them in production. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel free to try it out. The website is right there. And um, hopefully when we get into production, the links will be the same. And so we'll try to ease you into it. So thanks so much.